Hi guys, Dave Anderson, Heli Cool Heli Pad. Hope you guys are having a great week. I started school back again, so I'm trying to get used to what my professors, my new professors, are asking for, what their expectations are, because you know naturally I want to get the best grade possible. But anyway, today I'm going to uh, try to figure out uh, a little bit more of things to do with the matting that I have left over uh, for Malachi, and hopefully increase some of that uh, soundproofing. And we're going to do some other things. I'll just write it right down here so that uh, you know what we're uh, going to be doing. I'm anxious to get started, so I'm just going to jump right in. Hey guys, have a little unboxing. I had to take a part out of here anyway. It was a, a neighbor had uh, ordered a washing machine part. And... Uh, so this is what I got. Yeah. Like I'm gonna get rid of some of those, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, those little plastic bristle brush looking uh, uh, push stays. I'm not sure what they're called, but they tend to just rattle around. I'd like to get some bolts in there besides the fact that uh, a couple of the of the uh, riv nuts that are holding that are holding the visors up have come loose and you can see that one right there has come loose so gonna need to replace that Well, the mission just called. It's time to uh, go in and pick up the TFAP. Sometimes the food bank only gives you about an hour notice. Hey, your TFAP is in. Come and get it. Well, it is what it is. Let's get on the road with Malachi. Get out there and grab that TFAP. Got everything loaded up onto the food bank. Well, that was three pallets. I told the guy, <laughs> put the heaviest pallet on last. And he put the heaviest pallet on first. <laughs> it could only get two pallets, two pallets in, even with trying to ram it, so. So good thing the director was there with her pickup to take the last pallet. It wasn't it wasn't too much. It was only a half pallet. But uh, on the way to the mission. I thought I'd start inside the cab here and I do have some of this uh, matting left and I thought about just doing a dash cover and it's not much but um, you know I have to be as frugal as I possibly can here because my budget is, is uh, really tight and if we're being real here I don't have a budget. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is is uh, right straight out of the pocket, so I have to use the things that that I have on hand. It may not be the best, but uh, doggone it, you try to make it work, and I'm going to try to make this work.
Well, I have to say that uh, after getting that dash on there, really, really makes me want to put in this uh, this vent, see-through vent. I mean, this is a really cool thing. Although I've been kind of putting it off because I want to paint it before I put it in. I haven't broke open this paint yet, but I think it's time so I can see exactly what this is going to look like on the rest of Malachi and make sure that this is what I want. Now I've mixed this up about a month ago and I, I just shook the tar out of it for about two minutes solid. So let's get this thing prepped and put this on. Well, I pulled the old one out. Of course, I have I completely refurbished this one when I uh, got Malachi, all new weather stripping. I painted it, but it's time to get the new one in. I got a couple more coats of paint to put on it and it'll be done. So this vent cover will be going into the Parker Salvage Company's van owned by Dealey Departed. Yeah, I'm gonna paint some of the hardware too. I'll see what this uh, really kind of a dark silver looks like. I think it looks, I think it's gonna look really sharp against that green. All right, it's done. Time to install this part. Well, that certainly is, uh, in my opinion, a pretty decent improvement. I really like that extra window there. And I do like the dash. Well, I'd sure like to know where where uh, Bob is and what he's been up to. Maybe I ought to just go over to the Magical Woods and find out. I have a feeling that uh, Silent Bob might be in the Magical Woods because I haven't seen him in a while. And uh, so I'm going to go into the Magical Woods and see if I can find where Silent Bob went. Of course, the Magical Woods... He's not silent anymore because he uses the magic to be able to speak. So, oh, there is some activity. Looks like there is a ranger and I see a little dog. What the heck's going on over here? Oh. Well, hey, Bob. What you got going on here? That is one fine mallet. Are you going to use the magic of the magical forest to talk? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is quite a... What do you call this again? A hurdle. A hurdle. Well, that's a definite hurdle. Try to jump over that do it wrong you catch something rare your family jewels and uh you got going on a little shelter there a little debris shelter what are you what are you calling that that's a wiki up it's a wiki up um your your hand your uh, hammer looks handmade mm -hmm. cherry wood Out here in the magical forest, 
with the bushcraft skills going on. Check out all of this work here. This hurdle goes quite a ways. And I can tell the reason why Bob hasn't been around lately. There's a lot of work in here. Well guys, I appreciate you coming and joining me today. I uh, hope that you enjoyed this episode and uh, it's, it's a soundproofing that I'm after and I'm trying, trying as hard as I can and we'll get it. Hey, until next time guys, you know the deal. Be safe and God bless. have issues with that. I think there's some kind of solenoid. There's some kind of solenoid that tells the starter it has enough juice. And I think it has enough juice, it's just not making it happen. You guys uh, know what the heck is going on with this thing? Please let me know. Do I need new batteries? Is that the problem? Because it when it actually starts, you know, turning over, it, it turns over real nice. It's not like it's round, round, round. So, I'm stumped. Need your help. Leave a comment. That would be appreciated.